Hi guys, welcome to CUD PG, another podcast, COQP 12. Today we are with Prince Parida. He scored 270 marks out of 300. Uh, congratulations, very first Prince. Thank you, sir. So, uh, before I start, want to understand, uh, you had expected this score 270, I got in my exam. Mein. So, actually I had attempted 70 questions out of 75. And... Uh, mm-hmm. I was saw that the 70 questions are going to be all right and I was expecting 280 on the higher side but okay. unfortunately two questions went wrong so it is not okay yes sir so before we jump to the preparation part want to understand a bit about yourself your 10 12 percentage and your graduation academic background so I have completed my 10th and 12th from CBC background I had uh, 9.8 CGPA in 10 and uh, 86% overall in 12th class. And uh, apart from that, I will be completing my graduation this year. And uh, I'm pursuing my graduation in BSc Honors Agriculture from yes. Odisha University of Agriculture and Technology. Okay, okay. And you belong yes. to which state city? Odisha, sir. Odisha? Sir, Bhavneshwar, Odisha. Bhavneshwar, capital city of Odisha. Yes, sir. Bhavneshwar. Okay. How's the place, Bhavneshwar? Says... All right, a bit humid and hot. That is nowadays it is everywhere in in India. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What are the list of the courses you are planning in TSS through this score two seventy? So my first target is HRM and LR, as I said earlier, and uh, oh. secondly, I'm also targeting for analytics as uh, in our program of BSc on a agriculture. There is an internship part where we had experience of uh, handling a lot of data, like collection of farmers name and uh, many other things that are related to data. So I'm also targeting for analytics as well. Hmm. Okay. Yes. And the third course? Not in so the I side. haven't selected any third. Uh, only both uh, HRM and LR and analytics as well. Sir. Okay. But you can? Yes, yes sir, I can. Um, so are you planning sir, or you don't want to? Sir, I think I don't want to. I'm not planning either. Either HRM and LR or analytics as well. Because when it's come to data oriented course, then you ha- you can check out the some other courses. Third, at least you have an option, then you can definitely you should select. I feel so. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We have to deal with the data like governance courses, development. Kindly go through the their curriculum, then you will understand. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Okay. So tell me. Uh, okay. So apart from CUT PG, have you appeared for any other NBA entrance examination? Yes, sir. So I did appear for CAT 23, SNAP and Z, and okay. then CVT. That's also. What was the percentile in CAT? So in CAT, I got 80 percentile, 80. And uh, in SNAP, that was 88. And in Z, 86 percentile. Okay. So, no, I mean, have you converted any good calls through these percentile? So through Z, I had calls from XIMB, being a domicile, uh, the cutoff is a uh, Low, a bit on the lower side, I would say, for through that. So I'd call from XMB HR and I did appear for the interview in HR, but unfortunately, I could not convert XMB HR. So, so okay. that's all, sir. Yes. Okay, okay. So now the only option is TIS. Yes, yes, right. Yes, sir. Okay. 88 percentile in SNAP, SIBM, Bangalore. Have you sir, got that? I had only filled for SIBM Pune and SCM HRD. That's all. I haven't opted any other college. Okay, okay. Yes, so now tell me uh, about your preparation journey for the CUT PG and the other examination. Yeah, Prince. So what uh, is schedule, how you have managed your, uh, along with your graduation you have prepared, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so how was the schedule and all? Yeah. So yes, sir. Along with graduation, uh, depression was a bit on the hectic side, but yeah, managing both of them, uh, by give, allotting different times to each of them was uh, the main goal, I would say. And along with that intensity, yeah, it was getting a bit hectic. Uh, there were days where I wasn't able to study at all, uh, like uh, doing any solving any quant questions or doing solving any puzzles, etc. But that's okay. I used to manage it on the very next day by solving some extra questions and all. So then I would say uh, I have not prepared for CUT, like focusing only on CUT. I had prior experiences like preparing for MBA entrance examination. And that gave, gave me kind of a lift to CVT preparation. And uh, yes, sir, I solely focused on uh, giving mocks in CVT. I had appeared, uh, gave around uh, 30 mocks, I would say, 
from uh, different platforms. So that was the main goal. Wow. And what was your highest score coming up in the mock? Sir, uh, one of those, uh, I don't remember the platforms actually, but uh, my highest was 263, I remember. 263? Yes, sir. And in the actual exam, it is 270? Yes, sir. So in CVD PG, which section was the toughest toughest section for you? Sir, I felt uh, forms and uh, LR was quite easy, but uh, I struggled a bit with the English part, English section. Which I don't which I know that many of the students uh, think that that is their strongest part, but I struggled a bit there. And uh, quant and LR I found a bit easier, easier side. So. Since you have prepared for the you had prepared for the CAD yes, snap that help you in the CVT, right? Yes. Sir. Tell me three learning from the mock test. So first, it gave me idea like how to manage time and all. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondly, so we should not even stick to one question if it is not being. Uh, if you can't uh, just uh, solve it, we should move on to the next question. And uh, third, I would say, so given higher number of mocks, it kind of gives you a confidence. And uh, with that confidence, you can, uh, sit, when you sit in the examination hall, with that confidence, it kind of gives you uplift or boost. So that helps your mindset, so I would say that. Okay. Do you think during your preparation of your all the examination, you have done some mistake, which all the viewers, those who are watching this podcast, they should not do? So, sir, you know, there were a lot of mistakes, I would say, but I would point out some major mistakes that I did, like uh, not focusing on uh, the mistakes that the mistakes they need to be reviewed at any cost. Like you should uh, invest much more time analyzing uh, than uh, when you solve that particular question during the time of mock. And that gives you the proper idea, like where you are la lacking particularly. And uh, that really helps. But uh, what I feel that I had not invested a proper amount of time in analyzing those. Like reviewing the uh, mocks, that is of uh, utmost importance, I would say. The ones who spend much more time in analyzing those questions uh, after the mock is over, that gives you insight like uh, where you are going wrong and in which particular topic you should uh, focus more. And so I was so, so in this, what mistake you have done? Yes, sir. so I was not in, investing proper amount of time in analyzing the mock. That was the biggest mistake. Okay. And uh, yes, sir. So, and practicing more amount of questions, like instead of uh, focusing on the type of questions that you already know, one should uh, focus more on practicing new type of questions, like variety of questions that uh, gives you, I would say, confidence and uh, you get to know different types of con concepts and all. And uh, what I felt that like all the MBA entrance examination, they're about uh, the surprises, like the new questions that pop up. Sometimes the paper gets way easier and sometimes it gets on the difficult side as it happened in the CAD this year. So mm. without any expectation, one should go and uh, practicing more number of questions and may it be easy or difficult and analyzing them properly. I, so these are all my suggestions I would give to anyone. Okay, okay. Uh, tell me about the day-day -day journey, CVT paper, day before a uh, CVT examination and on day day Sir. So before two days, I had, I was not appearing for any mocks. I had uh, I was only focusing solely on revisions of the con concepts that I had learned. Any new concepts that there are, or the questions that I got wrong in the mocks, I was focusing on them. Mm -hmm. And um, and on the D day, I just uh, tried to remain calm and went inside the examination hall. And mm -hmm. uh, and surprisingly, the questions were easier, which I found. I at first I thought this like. These are only the English section that is easy and the other two may be hard, but eventually I found the entire paper was easy on the easier side. And uh, the surprise was uh, that the points and LR questions were mixed and they were not separate. Like I had made a strategy that uh, I would first solve English part and then move on to LR and then to points. But uh, LR and points question were mixed. So I just uh, moved on solving the questions that came upon without focusing on the which section it belonged to. Yes. Okay. Now, have you started your stage two preparation? HR, uh, yes, sir. Okay. You have joined Manuver Online Assessment Program. Yes, sir. I have joined Manuver Online Assessment Program. Okay. Now, uh, tell me, uh, so far, what preparation you have started for the stage two? So I'm currently focusing on the current affairs, which the classes are going on in the Manuver, and uh, some of the social issues that I'm reading from the newspapers. and. Uh, some of the contexts that are related to my background, that is agriculture, I'm also focusing on them, uh, trying to gain a deeper insights into those problems. And uh, 
so that's all and and uh, i'm practicing on my communication skills as well like standing in front of the mirror and speaking to myself okay yes so please uh, last question what tips or the suggestion you want to give to upcoming year aspirant those who are targeting for let's say cpg 25 26 yeah sir so, uh, i would say instead of solely focusing on cvt one should focus more on the other entrance mba entrance examinations like uh, cad sat like uh, preparing for them uh, would give you a broader uh, preparation i would say and that mm-hmm. comes in real really handy at the time of cvt uh, that confidence you gain during the time of preparation of cads that or other entrance examination that is really really useful what i felt during my cvt preparation and giving okay. lots and lots of mocks that is also useful okay yes great nice uh, we have uh, done with this uh, podcast lots of thing uh, you guys people i mean you people are uh, learning from this podcast how people i mean have prepared what mistakes mock learning and how they have prepared each section apart from the cvt they have appeared for the other entrances as well so such kind of podcast will keep on coming up kindly uh, learn from the podcast implement same in your preparation those who are targeting for the next year 25 26 cvt pg and uh, prince congratulation for hitting 270 ka score and let's Thank prepare you, for uh, stage two very well so that we can get into the tss yeah Thank all you. the very best thank you sir bye bye take care